What's up, YouTube? We're back with another video. We have an amazing piece today. It just literally arrived in the mail. Here we go. The GWG 2000 Team, Team Land Cruiser TLC. Let's check it out. Let's go. Alright YouTube, here we go. We have the GWG2000 Team Land Cruiser, Toyota Team Land Cruiser G-Shock watch. I'm going to unbox it here for you guys. It literally just arrived today in the mail from Japan. Uh, so far this model is a Japan only release. Of course, I'm going to drop everything in the process, but here we go. Um, this one is currently only a Japan release. In the past, uh, they did release a few of the pieces to the US and other countries, but for the most part, uh, this will be a Japan uh, strictly, oh my god, limited edition release. So, open this up and I'll show you guys what we're working with. Alright, here it is. Here's the package in itself. Um, open this up, bubble wrapped. Right up and here we have it the uh, Toyota Team Land Cruiser GWG 2000 Here's the model number specific, uh, the SKU number there, GWG2000 TLC for Team Land Cruiser, dash one, one for black. Uh, 5678 is the module. This is the standard G-Shock uh, GWG2000 Mudmaster module. So the components itself are the same as the standard G-Shock watch. I think they're running for about 500, I'm sorry, about $600 now. Retail is $800 for the uh, base model of these, mo of these watches. Uh, this one, of course, is not as it's not as cheap. It is a limited edition only uh, release, so you are paying a little extra because of that limited aspect of it. Uh, the retail price was eleven hundred yen, uh, which is approximately nine hundred and fifty dollars or so, um, plus taxes, plus duties, um, custom fees, and shipping and whatnot. So it, it came out to about roughly a thousand U.S. dollars um, once it's all done and finished uh so this is a team land cruiser now you can see there on the box itself you have the toyota land cruiser uh this year in 2022 they had a competition a rally um in uh saudi arabia from jan in january 2022 and a g-shock collaborated with uh toyota to make this watch because of that particular rally i'm not sure if it was to market it or to um, advertise it but nevertheless the car the car rally in saudi arabia in january 22 2022 was the uh, pre uh appearance of the team land cruiser um, in this picture here nice box it's got this like sandy um i don't know like the like the dunes or something like that with the team land cruiser right on the box there that's the sleeve if we remove the sleeve like so you have this nice uh, cardboard box similar to the GSW H1000. Uh, nice two kind of two way. I don't. I'm not a big fan of these boxes, um, but here it is. It's got this kind of a splash mud pattern there. It's kind of metallic looking, gray metallic design on there. G-Shock and red uh, mirror finish on the top. Then you have the top, the uh, Team Land Cruiser in metallic bright uh, silver color. TLC, Team Land Cruiser, Toyota Auto Body. On the bottom, uh, this is the uh, tag that you saw through the box right there, the cutout there. Uh, nice splash this design throughout the uh, box. Now, I am kind of disappointed with this box. I love the old trunk boxes that uh, G-Shock has released specifically for the Japan market. So the uh, JDM market, J Japan domestic market, usually came in a... A uh, unique display box, which um, usually came in trunk boxes, similar to this one here. Let me show you here, right here. So they come in these nice trunk boxes. Um, they've apparently have done away with that um, in this particular model, which is kind of disappointing because this doesn't feel as luxurious um, as the JDM 
previous models. Now on the inside, you had the Team Land Cruiser Toyota out of body once again with the TLC logo um, in silver metallic looking right there. But here is the watch that we've been waiting for. If you're at, new to my channel, consider subscribing. I'm sure you, um, I'm not sure if you follow or not, but I do G-Shock reviews, um, limited editions for uh, pretty much a lot of releases throughout the world, limited editions, also the standard releases. Um, so consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Here it is though, enough talking, enough yapping, enough about the box. Here is the G-Shock GWG 2000 TLC Team Land Cruiser. The tag itself um, in Japanese, right there you can see. All right, Team Land Cruiser, Toyota Auto Body, Multiband 6. I guess this is some of the functions. LED lights, uh, we know it's got compass, uh, quad sensor or triple sensor. I believe it's triple sensor on these. Uh, forge carbon, uh, altimeter, barometer, uh, compass, and I'll go through those in a moment. But this one here is a limited edition, so you do get the standard, or not the standard, the limited edition Team Land Cruiser design on the band. And I'll do a macro shot of that so you can see it really close.
here it is. Look at how gorgeous that is. Right there. There we go. Team Land Cruiser. Tell me that it isn't gorgeous. You have the Team Land Cruiser mud pattern still um, carried over from the box onto the band, which is a pretty neat concept. Um, then you have, the, of course, the standard carbon core guard uh, bezel right there. Forge carbon, I think they called it. All right, mud resist. And then you have the Team Land Cruiser label or print right there. Team Land Cruiser Toyota Auto Body. Um, and it's like a gray colorway. And look at that cool, let me zoom out a little bit. Look at that cool splash. Very nice, cool mud splash. Um, the mud itself, it looks like a gray. It's like a gray, there we go. You'll get a better look on it on the, um, on the actual macro shots. And on the back of the back, on the, on the uh, case there, in the case back, you have the Team Night Cruiser, Tough Solar Team Night Cruiser, Toyota Auto Body. All right, so you can see it's got compass, altimeter, the mold button there, the display um, button there. Sapphire Crystal, of course, this does have Sapphire Crystal, multiband six, also um, solar powered, Tough Solar they call it, but it's solar powered G-Shock watch. Great design, I always love this watch. If you haven't seen my G-Shock review of this particular model, I'll put the description um, I put the link of that video in my description. Great watch. Oh, look, pretty, pretty cool. Look at that. I didn't notice that the um, mud splatter actually carries over to the metal dial there um, around the bezel. Very cool. I love that. Very nice. Very. I think that that alone did it for me. Um, then you got the blue underlone, undertone right there. Blue accents on the actual watch. Very nice. I like that. Very cool. All right, now this is the third, I believe. No, no, it's not. It's the fourth. Uh, there was a G9000 Team 9 Cruiser. This is a GG1000 Team 9 Cruiser. Uh, GPR B1000 Mudmaster um, Team 9 Cruiser. And then um, this one here, the GWG2000 Team 9 Cruiser. Now this is officially the first limited edition collaboration for the GWG2000 new G-Shock watch. Now this is... Very standard, actually. I, I can't remember who asked me, like, do you expect them to do collaborations with the new GWG2000? And absolutely, hands down, I knew for a fact. Uh, matter of fact, the Team Land Cruiser is usually the first, um, one of the first of the G-Shock collaborations that they do uh, with the model. So uh, I, was, I was honestly expecting that. Um, on the glass, I'll show you guys. I'll put the, on the screen there, I'll put the uh, different uh, collaborations for Team Land Cruiser. If there's more, I'll let you know. Uh, for example, the G9000 there on your screen, that's the uh, Team Night Cruiser Red G9000 collaboration. Very cool watch. Then they did the uh, GG1000, the Mudmaster GG1000. That one's really cool. It's got the blue bands. Uh, very nice colorway. Um, but I, it, they used the base, the GG1000 model, which is, is it's a very attractive watch, very popular watch, but it lacks solar power. So I think... Um, uh, they could use better model for that collaboration. Then you have the uh, GPR B1000, the Mudmaster, big, humongous, robust Mudmaster, the GPR B1000. Now, that one is astonishing, gorgeous watch, but it is massive. So, um, it's really big, especially for people like myself with small wrists. Uh, doesn't really work. <laughs> and then lastly, we have this one here, the GWG2000, which I think it's a great one. I wish I would have done more with the colors. Um, not exactly disappointed. Um, I think they did a good job, but I, I love the blue colorway they had going with the previous models, the nice, bright colorways. But with that enough being said, guys, look at that. It's receiving a signal. I didn't even ask you to do that. I didn't ask you to receive. <laughs> it's pretty strange. Usually it doesn't do that. It does it in the middle of the night. Um... Maybe it's been in a, a power save mode and it's deciding to do it now. But uh, the dial is pretty cool. It's not as busy. I have the red second hand and then you have the um, hour and minute hand with a gray outline uh, border. But then you have the uh, white in, uh, inside of there. Those is, that's pretty much the uh, afterglow on the hour and minute hand. And then you have the mode button on the top left corner here next to between the 9 and the 10 o'clock position. Uh, it's pretty neat. You have that. It's like a red, white, and blue. Uh colorway there it's pretty cool uh, barometer temperature uh, receive stopwatch timer alarm roll time and receive on the um there and across the mode so if you push the button there you can see it swing 
to each of the modes and then back to your home time right there back to your home time at the 12 o'clock or point up position um not not too busy it's um uh you have the solar panel there which gives it a little of texture on the uh display but it doesn't obstruct it doesn't make it hard to read it's actually quite legible you have the digital time on the bottom there of the screen on uh, the light is beautiful uh compass on the top right corner there see it's a digital and analog compass all right then you have the bottom altimeter button on the bottom right corner there all right and then you have your uh, crown here which is uh turn it counterclockwise to unlock it you pull it to the first position to select your city time so just i'm gonna select chicago here like so push it in and then it'll swing and change the time to that specific selection then you push the crown in and turn it clockwise to lock it back in place like so and that's right there my friends is the gwg 2000 Mobmaster Team Land Cruiser. Very nice, very nice design after all. All right, any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or email me, my email is in the description of this video. Um, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't wait too long to get this piece in uh, historical fashion. The uh, GWG, or excuse me, the Team Land Cruiser pieces do go up in value, so um, if you're interested, I would suggest copying it sooner than later. Um, most likely from Japan, do a search for the model number on the Google machine and you will run into some um, reasonable prices as of now. Um, I haven't seen a fake of this yet. So use my video, I would say, as a guide to compare to see if, in fact, there are selling any fakes. I haven't seen any fakes of this model created yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future you start seeing them. Um, but yeah, there you guys have it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so, no, done so already. Hit the like button. Um, and thanks for watching. Till next time, this is Chicago. Holla at your boy. I'm so close to 20,000. Subscribe, please, if you haven't done so already. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace. I'm rocking my G-Shock. 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 I'm rocking my G-Shock.